In this video, we're going to work on the Alex problem called Expanding a Logarithmic Expression Problem Type 2. This problem is going to give you a pretty complicated log expression, and it wants you to simplify it. Uh, every log in your answer should only involve one variable. I'll explain exactly what Alex means by that, and uh, let's just get into it. So first thing I'm going to do is up here, I'm going to write some of the properties of logs that we're going to need to use to solve this problem. First of all, if we have the log of two numbers multiplied by each other, like log of a times the log of b, we can rewrite that as the log of a plus the log of b. If we have two numbers uh, being divided, like the log of a divided by the log of b, that is the same as the log of a minus the log of b. And then last but not least, if we have a log of something with an exponent, like the log of a to the b, that is equal to b times the log of a. And we're going to use all three of those uh, properties to help us simplify this equation. So I'm going to begin by writing the equation that was given to me a little bit bigger, make it a little easier to see. I have the log of the square root of x to the third times z over y to the fifth. I've looked at a few of these Alex problems, and a lot of them don't have square roots, so I feel like I got a little bit ripped off by getting kind of a tricky one here. And what I'm going to do for this problem, I'm going to start right away by getting rid of the square root symbol. Now, I'm not like undoing the square root symbol, but I just want to write, instead of writing the square root symbol, I'm just going to write all of this as x to the third times z over y to the fifth to the one half. So I'm going to use the exponent one half instead of using the square root symbol. This is exactly the same. It's going to make it a little bit easier for us to work on the problem. The next thing that I'm going to do is take this one half term and I'm going to apply it to every single term inside the parentheses. So this is another, not a property of logs, but if we have a couple of numbers like a times b to the x, that is equal to a to the x times b to the x. We could even have, you know, we could even have a fraction in there if we wanted. Um, so we can just take that, whatever this exponent is, and we can get rid of the parentheses. We can get rid of the exponent by applying it, applying the exponent to every term inside the parentheses. So this is going to give us the log of x to the 3 halves, because I'm taking the 3 and I'm multiplying it by 1 half z to the one half over y to the five halves. Again, because I'm taking the five and I'm multiplying five times one half, that gives me five over two. So now that I've got this set up, now I'm ready to start applying these different properties of logs. And the first one that I'm going to choose to apply is this right here, this uh, property which is going to help me get rid of the fraction in this um, in this expression. So we can see if I have the log of a divided by b, this divided by that, I can rewrite it as the log of the numerator minus the log of the de denominator. So I'm going to rewrite this as the log of the numerator, x to the 3 halves, z to the 1 halves, min 1 half minus the log of my denominator, y to the 5 half. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is work on this. Alex says uh, every logarithm in your answer should involve only one variable. So this is what that means. This log involves only one variable, the variable y. This log has two variables, x and z. So I need to simplify this one even more. And to do that, I'm going to use this property. The log of a times b is equal to the log of a plus I, re I wrote this wrong. The log of a plus the log of b. Okay, so down here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it over here. I'm going to write this as the log of a, which is x to the 3 halves, plus the log of b, which is z to the 1 half, and 2 looks kind of like a z, minus the log of y to the 5 halves. Now, the last thing that we're going to do is simplify all of this using this principle right here. If we have the log of something to the exponent, we can take that exponent out and put it up front. We're, we can do that with all three of these terms, and this is what Alex wants us to do. 3 halves times the log of x plus 1 half times the log of z 
minus 5 halves times the log of y. This is the simplified version. The answer to the problem is this expression right here.